Thanks for joining. This is Dr. L.A. here, and I wanted to do a video on self-love. I wanted to make it short and simple and sweet and to the point. So I titled it Four Easy Steps to Get Your Self-Love. Mainly in this video, I want to talk about how to take some basic steps to love yourself a little bit more from within. And my specific intention for doing this video is to encourage you to take better care of yourself. It's simpler than you may think. So I'll start with step number one. My recommendation is to make sure you take, your take, take some time for yourself each day without fail because you matter. It is so important that you fill your cup up and make sure you put your oxygen mask on first before you give to anyone, your husband, your children, your job. You have got to be full and you've got to have a great foundation and be ready for the day. And the way that you do that is you fill your cup up. What that looks like for some could be a, a long bath, a longer shower, a massage, a facial, sitting down with a pen and a journal and writing down and getting your thoughts out on paper, taking some time to just breathe and meditate, or how about, hello women, just being still. For some of us, that's quite difficult, being still. We're so used to being in control, wanting to get everything done, doing things our way, or making sure things get done, that it's really difficult to be still. But I must tell you, being still is an essential part of life. That's how we get our rest, by being still. That's why we sleep, so our body can rejuvenate and restore and refresh. So step number one in the four easy steps to getting your self-care is to make time for yourself every day. Without exception, you are worthy of it and you deserve it and you definitely need it. For me, it's a bath. I love taking baths. My baths can go anywhere from two hours to four hours on any given day with no guilt and no shame. I make sure the bathroom has my candles, has my sea salt, my Epsom salt in the water. Sometimes I throw the little bath fizzes in there to make it pretty. Baking soda, peroxide, and I always put my lavender oil or some type of essential oil based on my feeling that day. So I want to encourage you figure out what your daily self-care routine will be to give back to yourself to fill up your tank and make it an important part of your day every day and it could vary in addition to my baths I love to get on the treadmill and walk or jog for 30 minutes that fills me up as well some days I do both but I make sure I do one or the other every day single day. The key is to know yourself and to know what your body needs to get rejuvenated and restored before you even think about giving anything to anybody else. You've got to make sure your cup is full, your oxygen mask is on. Step number two, listen to your body. How many times have you, has your body told you that you need to take a nap? And you didn't because it was in the middle of the day. I don't take naps. My husband used to say that. Now he takes naps. <laughs> because sometimes your body just needs rest or extra rest. Your body could be trying to fight off a flu, a bacteria, a virus, and it might need extra rest to help fight that off. And you don't know because it's all happening on the inside, right? So learn to listen to your body. Listening to your body could be in the form of taking a nap, right? 
And it could be in the form of resting your body or just sitting down and being still, right? It could be in the form of exercising and moving your body. Maybe you're not moving enough. You've got to check in and listen to your body. And what does that look like? Sitting down and just being still and even asking your body, what is it that you need from me in this moment? And however it responds, give it to your body. You've got to do a better job of listening to your body. One of the things as women that we do is we move and do and do and do. There's a Bible verse that says, be still and know that I am God. I have learned from this verse that I get more done when I'm still because I can hear the Holy Spirit speaking to me. I can hear God's voice. And then when I move, I move with purpose based on what he's telling me as opposed to me moving based on the chatter that's going on in my head that's trying to tell me I need to do this and do that and get that done and get that done and get this done and get it all done in one day, which never happens, right? The chatter sets up false expectations for me to fail over and over and over again. But when I sit down and I'm still and I listen to God and listen to the Holy Spirit and then I follow the guidance that I'm given in that stillness, I'm able to operate a lot more efficiently and get things done a lot more smarter at the divine time that it needs to be done. So listen to your body when it tells you to rest. Listen to your body when it tells you to move, but you got to get still in order to be able to successfully do that. Step number three, take some time to understand what your body needs. These two are definitely connected. How do you do that? You get still, ask your body, what is it that you need from me in this moment? And then when it responds, listen to it. If you're not getting a response, investigate. Get on the internet. Do a Google search. If you're having some symptoms in your body, some things that are going on that haven't been going on before that are new, that are concerning you, get on the computer. Do some research. Google it. Research. Look up. One of the things that I do is I look up herbs. If I'm having a symptom, I've had issues with my thyroid most recently. If I'm having issues, I look up a herb for that issue, right? There are lots of herbs that can support your body that are all natural, but you've got to be willing to investigate, to do the research that's necessary. You got to take your health into your own hands. Instead of getting a prescription from your doctor, every time you go and give them a symptom, they're going to give you a prescription, And when you get that prescription, that prescription is going to have side effects to it. So I want to encourage you to investigate, do your research, find out based on your symptom what your body needs in the form of a herb, an essential oil, something natural, maybe a nutrient or a mineral in a certain food it may be calling for. You may be iron deficient, right? You might have a mineral that you're deficient in. You've got to do research and take your health into your own hands. Okay. And then lastly, number four, believe in yourself. Give your body what it needs daily to thrive so you can be your best. What this means to me is taking the time to eat healthy nutritional meals Or taking the time to eat more often throughout the day. For me, as I was younger, I used to not eat meals. I would skip meals. 
And so I got into the habit of that, which is not healthy because my metabolism would slow down because it was think it would think that I was starving myself. I had to get back into the habit of eating more often throughout the day and grazing throughout the day. That's what my body needs from me. It needs me to have breakfast, not skip breakfast because I'm not hungry, but eat breakfast to jumpstart my metabolism and break the fast. Then take a snack throughout the day. Could be something as small as a mandarin orange or a granola bar or banana, right? And then lunch, making sure I eat lunch and not skip lunch. You've got to give your body what it needs. And in order to do that, you've got to do the research to understand what it is your body needs at this time in your life. One of the things that I've noticed about myself is over the years, my needs change. Your needs have changed, but you've got to take the time to check in, right? Ask your body what it needs. Do the research, right? Get online. Find out what's going on, right? So you can give your body daily what it needs in order to be its absolute best. You've got to be consistent with it. And you've got to make sure you're accountable, right? Because if you're not taking care of yourself, who else is going to do it, right? You are your number one cheerleader. And you've got to take the time to take care of yourself and give your body what it needs every day so you can thrive and be your absolute best, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed. I'll just go ahead and summarize the four steps that I encourage you to bring into your experience on a daily basis. You've got to make time for yourself every day because you matter. Fill up your tank. Listen to your body when it says rest, rest. When it says move, move, listen to your body. Three, step number three, take some time to understand what your body needs. If you're having symptoms showing up in your body, do some research, investigate, get online. And then lastly, Believe in yourself. Believe that you are worthy of giving your body what it needs daily to thrive. And when you decide to give your body what it needs, be consistent. You are worthy of it. You are worthy of the time. And you've got to be consistent in order to be successful. Thank you for joining Authentic Living with Dr. L.A. Have a great, great day.